This video will take you through some of the features and tools that you have to work with when you are creating your first Scratch project. When you open up your Scratch project and click on Create, you will find that you'll get a default sprite. And the default sprite is your cat sprite that you can work with. Up the top here, let's have a look at some of the tools that you have to work with. If I want to duplicate a sprite, I can always use this duplicate icon up here. Click onto that, click onto the sprite that I want to duplicate and there you have it. There you have your two different sprites that I've just duplicated. I may decide that I actually don't need a second sprite so I can click onto my little scissors icon which is to delete click onto that and then click onto the actual sprite that you want to delete and there you go sprite gone for a particular project that I'm creating I may need a sprite that's actually a little bit bigger in size so I click onto my grow tool and click onto the sprite that I want to uh, make it grow big and there you have it. Well that looks a little bit too big for me so I may want to shrink it a little bit so next to the grow I've got my shrink tool click onto that once and then click onto the sprite and there you go. Up the top here where I've got untitled 8 this is where I want to give my Scratch project a name. So, you could call it whatever you like, but for this particular exercise, I'll just call it my very my first Scratch project. And you can see that it's now saving the file name. And it might take a couple of seconds for it to save. Whilst it's doing that, let's look at some of the other tools and features. I may decide for my Scratch project that I need a lot of different characters. So, let's go and open up what options we have. Down here I can click on to choose Sprite from Library. So, I'll just go ahead and do that. And there you have it. Opens up a Sprite Library, categorised by all the different categories that you have, the themes and all the different types. And if I scroll down, you can choose lots of different sprite characters to work with. So let me just choose the bat and click OK. And there you have it. So I've got a, another sprite character that I've opened up. Now I'm clicked onto the bat here, but I may want to add a little bit of my own drawing or customize it or paint it or make it different so I can click onto my paint new sprite and there you have it I can grab a pen tool which is the brush I can change the uh, the thickness of my a uh, brush I can click onto the type of color that I want and this is where I can start creating my different character or my new sprite. And there you have it. I can call this um, Curly Spaghetti. And there is my new sprite that I've just created called Curly Spaghetti. I may want to actually just hide my curly spaghetti for the moment. So I can click onto my little blue icon here where it's got the eye. And then where it's got the show, I can just untick this. And there you have it. It doesn't mean I've deleted it, it's just hidden from view. So I can just work on the other sprites whilst I can come back to this particular sprite later on. You may already have a image that you've saved into your um, folder or into your computer that you may want to use as a sprite character. So that's what you can do when you click onto that. 
If you actually want to take a photo of yourself or a photo of the background or a photo of anything that's around you, you can click on to new sprite from camera, take a photo and use that photo as your sprite. You can see that my background is just a little bit boring. It's a white space background. And if I want to make it a little bit more interesting, I can always come down here where it's got new backdrop. Click onto the little image icon. And what this does, it brings up all the different backdrops that I could use for my um, scratch project. Just to make it things a little bit more interesting and exciting. So again, you've got all the different categories. You've got all the themes that you can choose from. So maybe I can click onto nature and see what I've got. And maybe I'll pretend that today for my um, scratch project that they're in a hay field. And there you have it. Now, doesn't that make my scratch project a lot more interesting than just having a white background? Similar to the sprite tools, you can draw your backdrop or paint your new backdrop. You can upload an image from your computer or you can take a photo of um, your new backdrop. And there you have it.